Hi guys, welcome to this video for Amplitude 5, more specifically on how to get started with building your own presets with it. Now in this video we'll be going over the four main gear categories you can use to build your own rig, which are the pedal section, the amp section, the cabinet section and the module section. Now when you choose a cabinet in your chain, you'll get access to three more categories, which are speaker, mic and room. But for now I'll consider these for fine tuning and we'll be focusing on the upper four categories here. So for this preset, I created a metal tone and let's take a listen to that. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at all the components here. First category is the pedal category. So you can either select a pedal in your chain or select the pedal icon on the top right and you'll see all the pedals you have available here depending on which product you bought for Amplitude 5. Now you can order these uh, components either by type or by collection. When you want to use one, just grab it and drag it over to the left to throw it on the floor and use the uh, stomp boxes here to activate them. Wouldn't try it with my foot, but otherwise it works just the same as the real thing. So um, don't take these pedal settings and, like a photocopy and expect your guitar to sound the same, because it won't. Your uh, guitar might have a different output, it will sound completely different than any other guitar. It might have other pickups, so you'll have to adjust the settings of the pedals to your own uh, guitar specifically. So for example, the gain booster over here and the noise gate, it might work with one guitar, might not with another. So adjust these accordingly. Second category is the amp category. Same thing, you'll have lots of amps available on the right side here. Just grab them and throw them on the left side and you'll see the amp available here. You'll see I'm using three amps here and the way I did that is use this signal splitter. You can see split the signal in uh, two or even three like I did here. Uh, it's fairly simple, just one click. Now uh, adjusting amp settings takes a bit of practice and also it's not the same as the real thing. I have the two of these amps here and I used quite a lot of gain on the amplitude version. That setting will never sound good on the, on the real live thing. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It just use your ears and don't use your eyes too much. In this case, I went for a metal uh, type of tone and I scooped the mids out, uh, boosted a little bit of the high end presence to get that aggressive sound. Just get started and turn those knobs and you'll see, uh, you'll, you'll get better at it. So for the third section, we have the cabinet section. Same thing, grab one and drag it in and you'll see it here in your signal chain. So um, selecting these, you can see all kinds of uh, menus here. And these are the, um, uh, the mic and speaker and room settings um, I mentioned earlier in the second row on the right here. You can try to adjust them by selecting them and go into the details. For now, I'll skip these. Next up are the modules. So the last section over here, you'll see all kinds of different uh, studio modules you can use to uh, shape your sound a little bit more. So in this case um, you'll see an EQ uh, module over here which I use to cut some of the lows to make the sound less muddy, uh, boost a little bit of highs to make the sound more in your face. This is a compressor the, the limiting the uh, dynamic range. Uh, this is a saturation unit for um, a little bit of a grind in there with the tape saturation and the stereo enhancer to get a little bit more stereo width into this uh, preset. The cool thing with this uh, section, the module section, is you can also throw in 
pedals so that's a cool bonus tip just grab any pedal and throw it after the uh, the mixer icon right here and you'll see amplitude create will create a uh, module with a pedal inside you'll have to press the edit button to be able to uh, edit or adjust the settings of the pedal but other than that it's fairly straightforward and um, lastly there is this uh, mixer section which allows you to um, balance some of the uh, different mic and uh, room signals in here if you're using uh, different uh, uh, line levels here you'll uh, you'll need that to balance your uh, different amps as well so selecting cap 1 cap 2 or cap 3 will allow you to adjust all these settings all the uh, faders will some here into this yellow bus fader so you'll basically have three yellow faders to control and balance your uh, levels if you decide to split between different amps so that's basically it guys the uh, four sections of amplitude i hope you uh, can get started this way with building your own presets good luck and see you in the next video bye